again, uh, it's Mr. Burtis here, and today we're going to put together the model number 8516 hydraulic shop stool from SunX Tools, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to put together. It does come with uh, some semblance of instructions, um, but we're going to go ahead and put those aside. If you have no tools, it comes with the two little wrenches. You get your hex key, your Phillips screwdriver, and your 10 millimeter wrench. Uh, we're going to put those aside. I'm going to use a ratchet and a screwdriver. Most important thing when putting this together is it comes with eight screws that are actually uh, Phillips head. Those are for the legs. So the big thing that was hard to get out of the instructions is you get four pieces that are the hex pieces. That goes to the base of the stool. So you get your uh, base here and your inside plate and you'll see how this lines up. What you're going to do is put the plate in, you line up with the holes. actual lock nuts and you're only going to put them on to start. You want everything to be loose so you can put the rings and everything around it. So then we we'll do another leg and we'll go around and do all of them this way. So there you go. You have that put together but you want them all to stay loose because you've got a small top ring and a large outer ring and the small ring will go on the outside and the larger ring will go on the inside. That's where you use the eight screws that actually have the Phillips head on them. So we're gonna take that, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put that together. I'm gonna set the base in between, take one of my screws, and then I'm gonna lift up the ring. So I'm gonna pop one in. Put a nut on, and we'll go to the other side and do the same thing, and then we're going to go around and do the whole thing. We're going to take the uh, large ring that's going to go on the inside, and that's where the uh, next four come in. So we'll get uh, two of those, and we're going to line those up, and we'll go around and put that all together. So it's going to go on the inside, so we get them lined up. And again, keep everything loose. Do the inner ring. I'm going to go around and do that on all the pieces. So as those are still loose, flip it over, and now we're going to do the top part. Still wobbly but I'm going to use their little hex key and we're going to go ahead and start tightening these up okay so I've gone around and tightened everything up the main thing to remember is alternate don't tighten them all at once otherwise the screws won't go in together so you want to do a few turns on this one a few turns on this one same here same here and the same on the top we'll get those all together Nice feature with this is the, they have adjustable feet, so if your floor is not level, you can level this off. So the last part of putting this together is we're going to turn it over, and we're going to set it on the floor here in a minute. We take our hydraulic pump, goes in one way, sets in like that. Take our seat, and we go ahead and pop our seat on top. And when you sit on it, that will go ahead and tighten that all up. So we've got our stool here. Now we're going to put the back on and it's complete. Main thing to remember is these have little push clip locks. Those are going to go on uh, up on top so we can put the back on. So what you want to do is, again, you don't want to tighten these all completely up. On two little screws. You're going to take those and loosen those all the way up. And you're going to slide the bracket in. That in. Loosen that up until it slides all the way in. Just finger tight just to get it started because we want to be able to line up the back 
So you want to keep it loose so you can actually have some movement in it still. That in. And you can see I'm still moving them because what we want to do is on the back, the two clips. You're going to set it on one post. And you're going to set it on the other post. And you see these, the clips here. Right there, you're going to push those in and start to push the back down. And you get the one started and then the other. And when they click in, it snaps in and locks the back on. So then you can go ahead and tighten the bottom up. And now you have your hydraulic stool. Sit on it. Raise it up. Pull it down. And now you have your new shop stool. So remember, always dream, think, design, build, and learn. I'll see you in the shop.